Today we're here to do a review on this bad boy. This is the Mayano PD400X. And it was sent to me by Mayano, but they're not sponsoring this video. So I get to tell you exactly what I think about this microphone. Let's get into it. All right, so let's start off with saying I love the look of this microphone. The slickness of this microphone is pretty dope. And again, this is the Mayano PD 400X. It's a USB XLR dynamic podcast microphone. This microphone is supposed to be perfect for podcasting. So let me know what you guys think. Right now, you're hearing it come through XLR mode. I like XLR mode on almost all my USB slash XLR microphones. I always usually prefer the XLR mode, but this microphone has something special that my previous microphones didn't have. And that is this right here, this Mayano link software. And we're going to check that out too. And we're going to see if the software helps the USB mode compete with the XLR mode. So first, the packaging. The packaging on this microphone is superb. It has a nice slick feel. I love the box. You slide it out and you get that Mayano Professional Audio Innovation. This is pretty dope. Inside the box, you're going to get an XLR cable. So you're definitely going to need that if you don't already have it. And you're going to get a USB cable. I'm currently using that on my PodTrack P4. But yeah, you're going to get everything you need for this microphone in the box. And you're going to get this little stand, which could be useful if you don't have something like a boom arm or anything like that. And you're going to get this windscreen. But the mic looks so good, it kind of hurts me when I put on the windscreen. But let's see if we need it. We're going to do a plosive test now. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Does it need the windscreen? Eh. If you're going to talk directly in your microphone, let's see how it sounds with the windscreen provided. Here we go. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. So the windscreen definitely helps. But man, it takes away from that look. I love the way it looked without it. But the windscreen definitely adds a little bit more protection when it comes to those plosives. Now, let me focus your attention on the mic itself. So it has a little knob right here. And of course, this knob doesn't work if you're in xlr mode and this is the control the gain and it has a mute button which is touch two but again it doesn't work unless you use usb mode and you guys have been listening to xlr mode the whole time so i'm about to switch to usb mode so we can play with the app that comes with the microphone because that is one of the main things i really want to check out to see if this mic can hold up as a usb microphone for me i know usb microphones are great for people that want to just plug it into their laptop and people that don't have an interface but that interface you can do so much with that interface you can control your gain audio and all of that but this mic allows you to do that from the mic itself the gain of course you can listen to your audio by plugging your headphones up to the microphone and i'm about to do all of that i'm gonna leave my pie track p4 alone over here and we're gonna go straight to that and you guys decide if you can tell a big difference all right all right now we're looking at the mayano link all right so the mayano link right now you guys can see that the volume is going up and down up and down now let's see right now it got a headphone volume this is pretty good you don't have to use it on the microphone then you have the monitor mix um and then you have different tones man standard so that's right now i got it on deep i love the deep sound i'm always close to my microphone I put it on neutral, neutral, hmm. I didn't move, 
but neutral sounds a little different, right? Bright. Now I sound a lot brighter than I typically do. Oh man, let me know what you one you guys like better. Of course, it's all about um your preference. I like the deep sound. I like the sound deep when I'm talking. So yeah, neutral. Neutral is still pretty decent. It all depends on your voice, bright, and legacy. Legacy. I guess this is that good old radio sound. Huh? It sounds pretty good. All right, I like deep, so we're gonna go back to deep. Then you can near, near, this is how it sounds, near, mid. You see, it kinda went up, I didn't move, but it's saying now I should be back here. So my sound is sound the same, and far, so I should be way back here. So I will be, say that this microphone can pick you up from a distance, so this app, let me go back to near. So this app, I like near because um, you're not really picking up a lot of those background noises when you hit near. But man, that's pretty dope. It's pretty dope that you can actually control those things simply. You don't have to be an expert on audio and you can control those things right here. That's awesome. And then advance. Oh, okay. You got a little bit of different things, a little bit of EQ. EQ. So you got flat. This is high pass filter. So it gives you a different sound. <laughs> That's pretty dope. Presence boost. So this boosts your presence. It gives you that deep sound. I feel like this is what that deep sound sounded like. And you can say high pass filter and presence boost. Um, I don't really, I don't really like how that sounds. Um, if I had a preference, I like the presence boost, which basically gives you that deep sound and then you can control your gains your limiters if you are one that likes to talk loud so up here you guys can see when it turns yellow is it means i'm peaking so if you want to control that you can turn your limiters on so you don't get too loud to bust anyone's eardrums but if i were to use this and maybe i might because as i said i like mainly xlr but this right here this is definitely convenient with this microphone in case you don't have an interface or anything like that this right here is a good look it's a good look me i would just keep it on this standard mode and allow the app to work for me just choose how i want to sound and run with it this microphone this microphone has a lot to offer so if you are looking for that perfect XLR slash USB microphone, make sure you check out Mayano because it surprised me, especially with the USB mode. Right now it's still in USB mode and I like it. I like it a lot, especially when it comes to tweaking those EQ sounds. However you like the sound, this microphone can do it for you without you being an audio expert. So make sure you check it out. Peace.